Hi, where are you from? In suburban Chicago. What's your name? Be ever impressive. But never duplicate. 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 Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric C here. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing just great. Right now I am drilling out the tuner holes in the headstock on the Chipson. So if you see a little bit of black shavings and some clear shavings, well the black shaving is the rubber, foam rubber plugs that I put inside of the holes before I did the epoxy resin. Now if you end up seeing any wood shavings with this, then you are on the wrong angle or you have too big of a drill bit to cut this out with and yeah you might end up with some problems doing so so I made sure I was on the right angle with the drill that's why there's pretty much just the black shavings and the epoxy worked out pretty good and when I flip it over you can kind of see that it's you know pretty pretty good so I used a countersink bit to kind of like get rid of the burrs from the other side that are on the top of the headstock so I hit it with some 1500 grit sandpaper. Now I'm going over it with some uh, 2500 grit sandpaper, just to smooth it out a little bit and stuff. It wasn't lumpy and bumpy. There was a little bit of a raised area where the tape was around the uh, truss rod cut area. And uh, I just got rid of that, smoothed it out. Didn't really have to get rid of it too much. But as you can see, after I wipe it off and dry it off, that is pretty much flat all the way down. There is no bump or outline around where the Chipson logo is. This was covered with one coat of epoxy resin. So now I'm going to hit it with some rubbing compound, buff it out, and hopefully get a nice gloss finish on this. Uh, it seemed like there was no bubbles that came through. Uh, everything was nice and smooth. Make sure you hit the edges really good too because of the tape line that was around the edges. I ended up scraping with a razor blade and smoothing that all out. Most of the time when you do buffing, you're not going to just get away with buffing at one time. You're going to have to hit it a couple of times to get that nice shine that you're looking for uh, in your finish. Now I'm going to hit it with some of the uh, 3M rubbing compound, which is machine polish. And this is going to bring the shine out even more on this. So far it's looking really good. No problems, no holes, no pits, no nothing. It's nice and flat. No bubbles that came through from sanding it. Uh, it worked out really, really nice. I'm really happy with this. So I've got like three more chips and logos to put on. And uh, yeah, so this is going to be pretty pretty nice when I get done, and I can work on the other the other chipsons that I have. I got quite a few of these guitars. Some of the ones that were still you know good as far as quality goes, so I ended up keeping. And so far, they're holding their own pretty damn good. No problems with the necks or anything. Go slow with the buffing. Don't rush it, and you'll get a really nice gloss finish. And the outcome, well, there you go. So it's pretty much done. And I'm going to be having a nice reflection. Chipson logo is nice and flat. It looks kind of like, almost looks like it's stock. And here's the tuners and the truss rod cover installed. So quite a few days ago, I ended up getting a notification on eBay. And it's something that was being shipped to me. It's like, well, you know, I already received everything that I've ordered from eBay what the hell is this and you know looking at the photo you kind of blocked it out so you don't see it now but it's a guitar and you know how when you say something that you're not going to do and then later on you end up putting your foot in your mouth well that's kind of this situation here uh, so I went back looked for the order details from eBay for this item and I scrolled through and scrolled through and scrolled through and it's like okay well wait a minute here so I clicked on the item on the tracking and it brought me to the order details and stuff and I'm looking at it and it just said May 2nd of 2022 is when the order was placed 
So I'm like, okay, almost a year later, this is being shipped. You know, I've forgotten all about this. So now uh, I got a little bit of an unboxing. All right, so here's the box in question, and as you can see, it's got the yellow tape on it. You all know, you know, who sends packages with yellow tape on it like this. And from what I'm seeing on the inside, it looks like it's got the yellow tape foam wrapped, or yellow foam wrapped yellow tape packaging on the inside. So let's go ahead and get a razor blade. Go ahead and start cutting this thing up here and get this thing open. I'm going to need both hands for this, so I will be right back. All right, so here is the big giveaway of what this could possibly be. You know, more of that same yellow tape around styrofoam. So they used a real brittle one-sided cardboard to wrap this styrofoam in, which is not a big deal. At least it's in some type of cardboard, and usually they just wrap it up with the uh, yellow tape and... Uh, ship it out to you so that's kind of nice one thing I did find out though I already opened it up so this was on the headstock covering up well, guess what the Gibson logo so I ended up removing that so let's take a look at it see what I got and it's actually not bad I kind of looked at it a little bit and uh, didn't take it out of the box or anything but just got the fruit of the foam so as you can see it's got the Gibson logo on there and uh, yeah, this is not actually center very well. The trust rock cover, butterfly, butterfly key tuners, a heavy flamed inlay on the neck. I have a white with a little bit of a flame in it. Gold hardware. It's actually not too bad surprisingly you know the frets look like they can use a little bit of polishing on them but the front ends are not bad at all which I'm really 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 shocked usually these front ends are, are all over the place and ready to cut you up in more ways than one uh, let's see peel the plastic off these yeah, I know. I said I wasn't going to order another Chipson. And I would have kept that promise, too, if this didn't show up. Uh, if, this, if I didn't order this thing and it showed up now. Well, it's got decent gold plating hardware. Not too bad. Still cheap Chinese electronics. I know that. So let's get this thing out of, the, out of this box. Get the box thrown off to the side. So let's see here. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Neck is not bad. Is it kind of transparent. Do I see a scarf joint? No, but I'm sure it's got a heel joint in it. Yeah, I can see the heel joint. It is a little bit transparent. Plastic nut. And no cracking on each side of the neck it's not too bad I mean it's actually pretty decent from the last one I was working on which was the um, snake pit so yeah there's the fake chips and logo they try to cover it up I tell you these things are like really dirty as far as dusty and shit like that goes you think they would polish them up uh, before they'd ship them out to. So that's it, this is no more. I am not doing any more Chipsons. Uh, this is the last one, I promise you, this will be the last one. Uh, this wasn't even supposed to show up. This is all what, dust? Yeah, this is all dirt and dust on there. This was not even supposed to show up uh, if I didn't place the order for it last year. That's fucking weird. A year later receiving something that you ordered or almost a year later wow all right guys that's my story i'm sticking to it and uh you guys take it easy have a good one have a great weekend and i will catch up with all you all later